from We Travel Alone. I just want to thank everyone last week who watched the first YouTube video in our series and who liked our Facebook page. We really appreciate all the support and comments from everyone. It's really hard putting ourselves out there and our plans out there at the moment. Um, while well, we filmed that first video back in November of 23, um, we only released it last week. We've sort of kept a little bit under wraps what, what our future plans would be. And we always asked, you know, what's around the corner, what's around the corner. Where's your next trip? Where's your next trip? What are you doing? How are you doing it? And things like that. So it was pretty nerve wracking for us to, to oh, put it out into the world that this is uh, what we want to do. Most so definitely. thank you. So, uh, as Rebecca said, that video was filmed three months ago. Um, things changed in that amount of time. Um, things are pretty fluid. Uh, so, as it sits now, our plans are possibly and hopefully to take off in January of 2025. So, next year. So, we've uh, brought it along a couple of years, we hope. So, our recent trip to Bali has brought along our plans. It really brought home to us how much travel means to us and what we want to do in the future. Uh, so with bringing the plans along comes a few obstacles in making that actually happen. Uh, the biggest obstacle that we have is that we have a 15 year old daughter who goes to high school. So if we go next year, it won't be we travel alone. It'll be we travel alone plus Marley. Hopefully one day it'll be, we just travel alone. But right now, she's 15 years old, so we're unable to leave her with anyone at home. And she needs a curriculum-based education, or she wants a curriculum-based education. So finding something that she can do online as well is really important. important. And luckily, uh, the Victorian government in the state we live in, Australia, they run an online school that sits side by side with school-based education so she can do all the same subjects but she would just have to do school online from wherever we are so that really does fit in well which is quite good but Marley's very uh, independent mm -hmm. very independent and as a 15 year old she actually has two jobs so I think that's really commendable for a, a young woman of her age to be able to do that she loves payday and and planning on what she's going to spend her money on, but she has a significant amount of savings yeah. too, which is fantastic. So the loss of money is a little bit of a concern to her, uh, but she loves traveling. So what will happen is we will uh, pay her and employ her to work on the websites with us. So that'll skill her up as well as still give her some money while we're traveling. So we also need to think about working as well as uh, some people will know that we actually have a few websites this is not our first we've come from the family travel uh, blogging niche into em well not empty nesters like digital nomads we yeah. digital nomads so we need to be able to work as well so we're trying to find a happy medium somewhere where we can work and possibly have uh, Marley go off to school so then at least she's able to connect with people maybe a little bit younger than her maybe a little bit older than her as well she's in year 10 so having a social aspect to her education is really important as well definitely so either that or we can she can go to school online like we said previously or we can hopefully get in touch with some expat groups in places that we go but besides Marley being a problem we have one other major problem it's our pets. Okay, so these are our other problems. This here is Bow Bun or Pookie. Yes, we're talking about you. She is an adopted guinea pig and she's been with us for about four years now. We don't actually know how old she is. She's very talkative. And this here is Master Salem. He's a dwarf lop. He's our little bunny. Oh, hang on. Pookie's hungry. And we've had him for about eight or nine years now. So mm. the issue is we can't just go and leave these guys. Uh, they're part of the family. They're like like one of our kids. Um, mm. So, so yeah, so we're not quite sure what to do with them. Um, this fellow's old. He's way past his uh, expected living age. So Yeah, I think he's outlived his, the rest of his family by about seven years yeah so 
And this little girl, like we said, we don't know how old she is, but she came with another guinea pig who may very well have been her sister, but she's since passed off. So that's a bit of much a waiting game to see what happens with these two if they um, if they both reach their end game this year. That would mm -hmm. make our decision to travel a lot easier. That's right. I don't feel my legs. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> so yeah, so that's another one of the problems that we've got to face at this stage. Okay, so we're back, you've met our pets. Uh, I hope you find them as cute and as cuddly and as nice as we do. Yes, they're our babies. Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to see from We Travel Alone and Marley? We're going to show you, hopefully, what it's like for older digital nomads to really have a go. A lot of the time, if you're looking online, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, that sort of thing, you will see the younger set who are travelling, working online. <laughs> who are in the gym or, or on the beach <laughs> in, their, in their bikinis. I uh, promise you, you won't see any bikinis here or, or gym, that's or for sure. Or you're going to pop out a bikini, are you? Uh, you, might see, you might see cocktails and sunsets, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> you will not see any bum cheeks, or I'm purposely yeah, bum cheeks. That's it. So, so, yeah, but what you will see is us talking about the planning process of going, what we need to do, what needs to happen with where we live, uh, how we make money online, you know, what what we do online so look it'll be a bit of a journey and hopefully you stick around and follow the journey hopefully we can inspire you maybe it's something you might want to do at some stage but look yeah, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it and but look we're in it for the long haul we are he tells me we are <laughs> anyway thanks for tuning in to video number two uh look out for video number three don't forget to like us on TikTok. TikTok's going really well for us at the moment. So, And we also have the website, wechavelalone.com, and Facebook, and if Twitter. We, so, yeah. <laughs> and if, We've just got a few. Yeah. So, And if you've got any questions, feel free to write them in the comments, send us a message, or anything like that. We'll do our best to help. Um, we're not releasing the course this week. No. So. <laughs> You never know what That's the future it. holds. But, but most yeah. definitely, send in as many questions as you've got. Like, I'd be happy to make videos on people's questions and answer them. Um, that would certainly be another way for us to generate more YouTube content. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time with the next video. Bye. Bye.